So today I'm going to show you a way of creating the asphalt lines on the pavement with textures and alpha. So let's go ahead and create a new material. I'll disable the specular channel and set the color to white or yellow or whatever you choose. And Let's add a bump channel and choose a noise texture. I'll change the texture type to turbulence and just reduce the global scale to about 5%. Okay, so now if I apply my material. you'll see that it has little bumps so it will look as if it was painted on the street okay so let me just rename the material to line and what we will do now is add an alpha channel to create some transparency and on the texture I'll go and choose a gradient let me just okay so let me just put this back here I'll duplicate the material copy paste and I'll rename it to dotted line okay so I'll just take the alpha texture and change it here to a fusion channel so what would that do is just add a fusion channel and assign my previous material, which was a gradient, to the base channel. And I'll just tick Use Mask. And we now have to create a mask channel. So, oh, let me apply the material and just go again to the alpha, the fusion channel, and the gradient. and just set the gradient uh, to the center Okay, this for effects of this tutorial doesn't have to be perfect, but I guess that would be the center for now. Okay, so let's go back with this button and let's go again to the mask channel and add go to surfaces. Uh, oops, you can't see it. Okay, surfaces and Okay, you still can't see it, but it's down here. It's called Tiles. Okay. So let's go to that channel. And what I will do is change the Tiles color to white. And change the pattern to... Where is it? Lines 1. Okay. And as you can see, now I have some lines. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so I want to make them larger. And that would be with this setting here. If you increase it, the lines will obviously increase in size. Okay, so I like the look of that and perhaps we can just diminish the bevel width so yeah, so the ending of the lines is not that diffuse okay so obviously you can play around with the mask and just add more or less lines now we'll 
this will only change the spaces between the lines and if you want to add more or less lines just go here to the V scale and depending on what you want you can adjust it accordingly and let's see how this looks so I have here my left line my right line both of them continues and the middle line which is basically the same and just with a mask channel applied in a fusion shader and that would be a really really basic technique on applying asphalt lines to a street and obviously you can change the colors or adapt them to look better depending on your asphalt texture